Hi guys, I am Jomar Manabanan from Francisco Arcelliana and today we're going to discuss the relations and functions. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is an application about real life situations where in knowledge about relations and functions will be applied. Like for instance, Joanna is about to conduct an experiment for her science investigatory project. So before her experiment, she decided to classify the matters on her list according to its physical state. In science, matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. And we have three classification of matter according to its physical state. These are solid, liquid, and gas. So let us help Joanna to categorize the given matter based on their physical state. So we have 10 examples that we're going to categorize. These are acetone, hydrogen, alcohol, blood, wood, honey, wine, rock, air, and coffee. So let's categorize them based on their physical state. We're going to put the acetone on liquid, the hydrogen on the gas, the alcohol is also on the liquid, and also the blood, the wood is on the solid, the honey is on the liquid, and also the wine, the rock, is on the solid, air is in the gas, coffee is in the liquid. From the given situation, we have used the concept of relations. For better understanding, let's discuss the lesson thoroughly. Our relation is the set of any ordered pair. Domain is the set of all first coordinate, while the range is the set of all second coordinate. Our relation can also be presented using four ways aside from using ordered pairs. The first way is the table. The table describes the value of y as the value of x changes. We can use the table horizontally and also we can use the table vertically. The second way is the mapping diagram. A mapping diagram shows how the elements are paired. Lines or arrows are drawn from domain to range to represent the relation between any two elements. The third way is the graph. Using the graph of the data points, you can determine if a relation is a function by using the vertical line test. So this is an example of graph. The fourth and the last way is the rule. A rule is a relation can be written in the form of equations. Like for instance, y is equal to 3x plus 2 and f of x is equal to 3x plus 2. And the last example is that f of 1 is equal to 3, 1 plus 2. In the first example, y is the output while the x is the input. In the second example, the x read as the f of x or a function of f of x. In the third example, the number 1 is read as f of 1. We have three classification of correspondence. Number 1 is the 1 is to 1. 1 is to 1 is that every value of x is mapped to exactly one value of y. This relation is a function. Number 2, many to 1. The many to 1 is the two or more values of x is mapped to the same value of y. This relation is a function. Number three, one is to many. One is to many is the same value of x is mapped to two or more values of y. This relation is not a function. But now, what is a function? A function is a relation in which each element in the domains is mapped to exactly one element in the range. Now, how do we know if it is a function or not? How to know if it is a function? It is a function if each member in the domain is assigned to exactly one member of the range. Now, how do we know if it is not a function? It's not a function if the member or the number in the domain is assigned to two or more members of the range. Now, that's the end of this video. I hope that you learned from our lesson. Again, I am Jomer Malabanan from Francisco Arcelliana. See you again on my next video.